All right, guys. First video of the year. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm excited to see you guys again. I think I've got everything. I'm a little bit... Oh, I don't really know what's going on, but I've got everything all packed, ready to go. What's been happening, guys? I know it's been a little while. I've sort of had a little break over Christmas and New Year's, but guess what? I'm back and we've got a new season to bring to you. There is going to be some big things coming down the line this year, which I will share with you guys soon. But for now, we gots to go, man. All right. Boat's packed already. Check it out. I've got some new stickers, guys. Huh. Oh, yeah. New stickers. Pumped up. Dude, it looks, it looks so good, right? All right. We really do have to go, guys. All right. On the road, we're probably... Actually, I'll tell you exactly. We are two hours and 27 minutes away from Grafton. So we've been driving for a couple of hours now. <clears throat> it's only about a four hour drive to Grafton from uh, where I live in Brisbane. So it's actually, uh, I think it's the shortest uh, time that, that I drive this year for tournaments. So uh, look, we have just had some lunch and um, nice healthy lunch, right? I hate. I hate the fact that because because you're on the road fishing and stuff, you know, take away, it's just bad food, guys. Like, I'm just not into that at all. Yeah. Oh, shh. <laughs> no, guys, I had Maccas. Dirty old Maccas. Love it. Um, I do eat healthy, though. Maccas is just my little escape, my little, my, 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 my naughty little food when I'm on the road. Anyway, um, we've had a bit of a catastrophic event, which is why there wasn't more filming when we left Brisbane. Uh, this thing. <laughs> well, that's supposed to be connected to my big camera. It's supposed to be being the key word. Uh, well, there's the other bit of it. Oh! It's broken! It's broken! So, that's... Um, Throwing a bit, a bit of a spanner in the works. I don't really know. Oh, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Actually, no, I'm probably going to hit up uh, the Duff Man. I got a few mates that live in Grafton, which is uh, the home for the event this coming weekend. Uh, and luckily enough, Duffy is uh, into his photography quite quite heavily. So that's sort of putting it politely. He really does do some great great stuff he gets some awesome drone footage um if you want to check him out on, he's got his instagram uh anthony duff photography if you want to check him out on insta do yourself a favor and even if you want to buy some of his prints i don't know if you could, if anyone's watching and is into photography or you know love that sort of thing then he does sell all of his stuff so make sure you get over there and check that out but i might have to call the duff man a little bit later and see if he's got a uh see if he's got a spare tripod or uh or Kong mount or some little octopus like grip that I can steal for the weekend otherwise uh, I don't know maybe I'll have to hire Trent or Liam for the weekend to be my cameraman <laughs> I don't know that that was not planned I should have a backup but check it out I don't so I don't really know what I'm gonna do the event uh, it's on the Clarence River Kicking off round one for uh, 2019 ABT series. Uh, I did manage to scrape a top 10 there last year. That was in September. So it wasn't all that long ago, but let me tell you, the fishing is very different. Um, they still have had sort of a lack of rain down there, which uh, they've had a bit, right? They've had a bit more rain than what they did last year. Last year, they literally pretty much had none from almost the, uh, the year before we had our tournament. So, a lot of the water was gin clear. Like, it was clear as crystal. And um, it definitely made it hard if you, uh, you went upriver. Um, I didn't go upriver. I, I pre-fished up there and just didn't like it. The water was way too clear. And uh, that, the system up there, I think, just needed a good flush out. I know... 
uh, a few people, or well, quite a few went up there, but there wasn't those bigger fish. A lot of the bigger fish came from down, uh, down from where we launched in Grafton, which is where I fished. I actually, second day, I actually managed to sit in the same spot just about all day. I'd be surprised if I burnt through a litre or two litres of fuel and uh, had my limit in the first hour and just upgraded for the rest of the day. Like, it was an awesome day. And being able to tell people you caught all the fish, like, right there, fantastic. I hate that guy when I'm not that guy, but it's really nice when you are that guy. While we are here, guys, what we can talk about is things that I've got coming up this year. Uh, I know that last year I, I sort of hit it out on YouTube, and that is one thing that I do have to work on more this year. Um, it's really quite hard to manage your time. Um, for people that don't do YouTube, don't actually re realise the amount of work and time and effort that goes into actually just putting in even, even a 10 minute video. Um, there's a lot of behind the scenes and a lot of time sitting on your ass behind that computer to, uh, to edit and get it out to you guys. But I really, this year is very important for me uh, I have only given myself a few years left in Australia to do what I need to do before I make the big leap to the States and uh, try my hardest to progress into the pro scene over there. So while we are here, what I would like to talk about is sponsors. Sponsors, guys, um, I am fortunate enough to have a handful of sponsors on my side, which without them doing the whole fishing thing would be a lot harder put it that way a lot harder and a lot more expensive so they definitely do help out and uh, I know all of us who are sponsored do appreciate all of them very very much so we'll start off with Tackle Tactics uh, is one of my major sponsors uh, they are the owners here in Australia of Bakuma so I know a lot of you guys still think that Akuma is just cheap and nasty stuff but I promise you guys it's not it's very, very different, and we are coming up with newer and newer technology and designs, and even stuff specifically for the Australian market. So, if you haven't felt an Akuma reel or an Akuma rod, seriously, just do yourself a favour. If you don't like it after that, fine, but just don't say you don't like it before you've tried it. You need to give them a crack. I actually Finally, the brand new Akuma Helios SX bait cast reels are in. Um, I think they came in a couple of weeks ago in the country. So I picked one up uh, as soon as they came in. And let me tell you, they are, I promise you, they are the smoothest bait cast reels I have ever used in my life. Uh, I've already given them to a few of my friends to uh, have a bit of a flick around and have a go. And um, even you know, some of them are hardcore dialogue or hardcore Shimano guys, and even they were very surprised at uh, just how smooth it was. So I promise you, you will not be disappointed if you get an Akuma reel. Now, uh, Tackle Tactics, also home of TT, uh, all the TT lures for all their jig heads and spinner baits and various other baits. So it's all incorporated into one. There is other aspects to that whole Tackle Tactics company that uh, I'm not sponsored by, but Akuma and the TT Lewis side of things I am. Uh, Fishing Bits in Toowoomba uh, is another one of my major sponsors. So Chris George out of there, Palmsy and the boys. Um, Pat, look, um, they've been awesome. Um, Chris has been really, really great and really, really helpful to a lot of the stuff that I'm, I'm doing. Uh, his cousin, of course, is uh, Carl Jacobson, who, if you don't know, is the Australian fellow that's over fishing back in the Bassmaster Elites this year, which is great. Uh, and he's, um, he's doing really well. We're an Aussie guy over there, fishing against guys that have generations upon generations of fishing largemouth, smallmouth spots. Like, he is killing it. He really, really is. Um, so Fish and Bits, they've got an awesome website. I know a lot of my mates get stuff off Fish and Bits. They have got everything you need, salt, fresh, you know, for cod, for bass, for brim, jacks, whatever you want, they have got it covered and their delivery is ridiculously fast, guys. That's something they do pride themselves on. So make sure you go out and check out fishandbits.com. 
they are in Toowoomba. If you live in Toowoomba, if not, jump online. Uh, who else? Fear My Heart. Obviously, Carl and Chris's company. Uh, Chris had to unfortunately retire from the boxing uh, last year due to ongoing injuries, which is um, sad to hear, but unfortunately, life isn't always fair and life isn't always great, but uh, Carl is definitely still doing the company proud. So thank you for that. Um, who else have we got? Kitech Australia. Kitech have been great. Um, they've really looked after me with their stuff. Honestly, if you've not thrown a Kitech plastic, I don't know what you're doing. In my eyes, in, and in, my, in my view, Kitech lures just have the best action out of any plastic you could use. Now, last but not least, um, there's a new one that has jumped on board. Um, Simon March, thank you very much. Jig Pro. Jig Pro, Solomon makes all of his own jig heads and jigs. If you want to check him out, uh, ozjig.com.au is his website if you want to grab some of his stuff. Uh, they're awesome. Um, you know, the, the jig fishing scene here in Australia is getting a lot more traction now. So a lot of those American styles that we've seen being fished in Bassmaster and FLW and over in the States are slowly making their way over here with great effect. And Jigs are definitely the number one American style of fishing that has definitely made a massive impact over here in a lot of tournaments. Um, tournaments have been won using jigs and uh, I use uh, Jig Pro's jigs and I think they're great. They do, he does his footy jigs, a standard football head jig, you can get them either weed guard or weed guardless. I run them with the weed guard. Uh, and his Arky jig is basically it's basically a hybrid jig, so it's kind of got more of a, a, a swim jig style jig head. So if you're throwing that around heavy cover or timber and stuff, unlike the footy jig, it's not going to get hung up in some of the forks in the branches and stuff, so you can really pull it through some of that heavier, heavier weed, or you can pull it through some of that heavier snags without it getting caught up. Again, you can get them with a weed guard or no weed guard. He also makes his own jig heads, guys, and I think it's actually quite... Uh, difficult in Australia. There's only a select few people here in Australia that uh, run small enough hooks on big heavy jig heads. So when we're fishing down in Glenbourne or stuff like that in summer and you're trying to do some deep grubbing and you need basically like a half ounce or a 5.8 jig head but we're only throwing small plastics down there, you know. They only, they only feed on all your gudgeon down in those lakes. So really you're going to be throwing about a two inch size profile bait or less and it's really quite hard uh, to get a tiny sized hook on quite a heavy jig head but Simon makes all of his own in a myriad of different colours and uh, I think they're fantastic. So he has decided to um, take me on this year and uh, he's given me a bunch of his stuff which is great so thank you very much for that Simon but if anyone wants more info you can definitely check him out on his website. If you are new to the jig thing or you like your jigs and you want to check out some more companies' jigs, Jig Pro is definitely the one. So ozjig.com.au. But that's it for my sponsors for this year, guys. Um, there's a few more that I'm trying to work on this year and towards the end of this year. I'm, I'm hoping to possibly make a big announcement for a new sponsor, but we'll, we'll see how that pans out. Now, probably the most important thing of all, me. <laughs> uh, guys, if you have not checked out my Facebook and Instagram, Keegan Painter Fishing, please make sure you go over there and like my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram. Right, oh, check it out, we're back. I managed to get a new little uh, tripod handheld thingo that mine snapped off back in Brisbane, literally as soon as I got in the car, what I called Duff Man, because he's Mr. Photography. And sure enough, he had my back, he got a spare one. So that will get me out of trouble for the weekend. So look, this is the room. Check it out, it's huge. The old man wanted to come down. I feel sorry, sorry, Dad. I, I thought we were in a tiny little cabin. This could fit a family of 12. 
Couch. Oh god, I nearly put the camera in the fan. Beer, look. Complimentary beer on the entry. So far it's just me and Mark. What up? It's just us. Mark's cooking dinner. I don't know where we're going, I don't know where all these rooms are. This is Mark's pad. Complete with cute little puppy dog and a cat. Beauty. What is this room, dude? I don't know, it looks like a bit of a dungeon, eh? <laughs> it's like... I'm sort of concerned where I've put my shit in. Dude, it's just like an extra. It's like this room wasn't part of the main cabin, house. Have you seen this place? It's like everything is the same. Yeah, it's actually like... This seems to be the main part. And every room just looks like it's been extended on. Actually... You know what the main part looks like? This part. Yeah. This looks like the original only main part because you look at the roof and even the roof is like... That's different. 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 Anyway, whatever. This is the palace for the weekend. Mark's cooking some freezing cold sausages on a freezing cold pan. Oh yes. Is that your... No, you didn't bring that pan. No, I found it in the drawer. The cupboards are a little bit... How you going? It's sort of like what happens when you want to demolish one house and sort of just like make it out of every other cupboard. Got the stove, oven, this thing. Sweet. What time is that? Um, That's in 48 hour time. <laughs> What's 43.52? My pig's almost cut, trying to cook something for nearly Oh my minutes. god! <laughs> We skipped that. We're in daylight savings. It went to 48 hour time instead of 24 hour time. Oh, this is, look at this room. This is my room. This is like the superstar palace. Hey, my room looks good. How come you picked that room? Check this out, guys. Look at the ambient, ambient lighting. And a spare bed. If anyone wants to come up, there's a spare bed. We can we can bunk. Shotgun the big one, but anyway, that's what's up, dudes. Bathroom. Wanna check the bathroom out? Where's the light? God. Light. A running tap. How do you turn this tap off, dude? I don't know. Look. It is what it is. We're here to fish. It's good. Oh, dude, this wall has the biggest bow in it. <gasps> Mark's fiddling around with beer. Anyway, guys, look, that's the end of the travel vlog. I, uh, I did promise more videos this year, so doing them properly. I'm not, uh, I'm not bitching out on any. So, with that, I'm getting some food. I'm gonna drink some of the best beer ever. Sorry, Mick. I think it's better than Iron Jack, but that's me personally. And uh, we'll be up bright and early tomorrow to see if we can't put a plan together. So until then, I'll see you tomorrow.